hi, hello. We are, oh, I definitely should have checked if anything was in my teeth first. Hold on, pause. I just got done eating a smoothie bowl. No, I think we're good. This is the 10 and a half week update. Um, yesterday I felt a little bit better today kind of about the same. Still don't feel great, far from my like 100%, but I don't feel miserable <laughs> like I did last week. <sighs> last week was really rough. I still have aversions to like everything. The only thing that sounds actually good is like a smoothie bowl, acai bowl, or just like my smoothie from the gym now. Salty stuff does sound good. Not, not even real, no, it's, it's so weird, I don't know. Nothing really sounds great anymore. There are just things that sound like they won't upset my stomach or make me nauseous, if that makes sense. And that is like smoothie bowls. And yeah, so I find that kind of weird. I did crave smoothie bowls last time, but it was like well into my third trimester, like at the very end. So yeah, cravings, aversions are still all over the place. Hardly anything sounds good. And it's still the same where I have to eat very consistently smaller meals in order to stay feeling remotely okay. Uh, I haven't really been getting any headaches, which has been nice. I have been drinking more water. Water has been hard <laughs> to get in since I wasn't feeling well either, um, but I've been trying to make a very conscious effort of drinking more water. That has helped a little bit with the headaches. And what else? We have terrible air quality again. So I'm not going outside really, that's fun. It's freezing in here, but wearing a tank top, I need to go put a sweatshirt on. What other updates? Ugh, this morning I got, I didn't get it on camera because I was so not prepared for it. Last time we had the genetic testing done, it like emailed you the results and you could go through it on your own. So I had my camera set up and everything. Emmy woke up from her first nap. We were outside on the porch. She was having a yogurt just like sitting in my lap. I didn't even have my phone. I got a call which showed up on my Apple Watch. So I answered it on there. And they were like, hi, this is so-and-so from your OBGYN's office. And we got the results from your test. Everything came back low risk. And do you want to know the gender? And I was like, oh, yeah, I do. Can you hold on a second so I can at least go in and like be by my husband when you say <laughs> what we're having? So I ran upstairs and we found out that we are having a little girl. And not that I was not thinking girl, but I wasn't having like any, I didn't have any idea of what we were having until like really last week. I just started thinking that it was a boy for whatever reason. So I was not that, I wasn't like set in stone in my head that it was gonna be a boy, but I, I wouldn't have been surprised if it was a boy. I was very surprised when I heard her say girl, but like in the best way possible, because I cannot wait to watch Emmy be a big sister to a little sister. Watching their relationship develop is gonna be so cute. I would have been thrilled either way. Still want a boy if, you know, God willing, but yeah, so that's very exciting. But yeah, other than that, I'm still working out. Um, lifting feels better than cardio, or like I feel better when I lift versus when I do cardio. Cardio alone is just not really an option right now. I tried the one day, I think I already updated you about that. I like went to do 35 or 40 minutes on the treadmill. <laughs> it was the most pathetic cardio session that I've like ever done. So don't even try for that anymore. If I have time to work out, I'm going to lift for 30 minutes, not try to do cardio. So still been working out. That is one thing that's very different this time around than last time. Last time I didn't work out like at all. This time I have felt okay in the mornings and I think I just learned that it does help me overall throughout the day if I stay active, at least in the morning. So that's the update, 10 and a half weeks, <sighs> uh, still nauseous still having so many aversions and <laughs> fun stuff over here. I'll be very excited when I'm through the first trimester and start feeling more like myself again, just because what I mean, this started at like the end of six weeks. So seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, yeah, I'm going on four weeks of this and I'm just to the point where I'm like, okay, <laughs> 
a little over it, but I also have said this before, as long as the baby's healthy, that's really all I care about. We planned a little like night to have our family over. We're gonna make pizzas and do a very chill <laughs> gender reveal just with our family. And that's gonna be on Wednesday, so two days from now. I have to figure out how in the world we're gonna tell them. Whether I just get like cupcakes or a little cake that has a you know color filled inside or something, or a little confetti cannon, something, I don't know. Something simple, but that will be fun. Because I, aside from my mom's reaction and like our initial reaction finding out, I don't have video of anything this time. Chris's family all kind of found out on accident, but it was also okay. They went over to Chris's parents when we told them, like his siblings showed up and Emmy was still wearing her big sister shirt. So we didn't get any of that on camera. I didn't get us finding out the gender on camera, <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, just totally different this time around. But that's the update, 10 and a half weeks. I have most of the updates and all the like pregnancy videos already edited and uploaded onto YouTube. So when we do announce, I have so much stuff ready to go live and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm proud of myself for staying consistent with this because it'll be nice to look back on. Mm -hmm.